Welcome to the Windows Club. I am Karan and I'm here with a video on helping users resolve the issue where the shift key is not working on Windows 10. In case you are facing the same problem, open this article on the Windows Club. We would be sharing its link in the description section and check the solutions mentioned here. The first solution is to physically clean the key and the keyboard just in case any accumulated dust is preventing the shift key from the desired action. The second solution is to disable sticky keys. To do so, click on the start button, select settings, scroll down to ease of access, go to the keyboard tab and make sure that sticky keys are turned off. Then you can update, reinstall or roll back the keyboard driver. To do so, press Windows plus R to open the run window. Then type the command devmgmt.msc. Now expand the section for keyboard. Right click on the keyboard device and select update driver. Choose the option to search for the drivers automatically. If it doesn't help, right click on it again and select uninstall device. Then reboot your system and the drivers would reinstall by themselves. The fourth solution is to physically test the keyboard on another system. This helps in cases of external keyboards, especially USB keyboards. The fifth solution is to check through the USB connections. Just in case that one specific USB port is bad, you can try connecting the keyboard to a different port. And this way you could verify whether the issue is with the port or the physical keyboard or the drivers of the system. The sixth option is to run the hardware troubleshooter. The same has been explained in this article. And the seventh solution is to reboot the system in the clean boot state. To do so, press the Windows key plus R. Type the command msconfig and hit enter. Go to the services tab. Check the box associated with hide all Microsoft services and click on disable all. What we just did was that with the exception of Microsoft services, we disabled all other startup services. Now click on apply and then on OK and reboot the system. Does this help? Or do you still have any doubts? In case you do, open the original article on the Windows Club, scroll down to the comment section and please write your query in the comment section. We will surely reply to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.